Today, in this fun video, we're going to test the conductivity of compounds dissolved in water. This is what you will need. You will want to attach the wire to the battery like so. Use some electrical tape to help hold the wires onto the battery. Or, you can also use one of these pinchy clip wires. This is what I will use today. Rinse out your beaker with distilled water to get rid of any contaminants. Next, add 50 milliliters of distilled water to your beaker. Insert the two prongs of the wire into the beaker of distilled water. If the water was conducting electricity, the electrical current would be separating the water molecules into their components hydrogen and oxygen, which would collect on the positive and negative terminals. As you can see, there are no gas bubbles forming on the terminals. Let's test regular tap water and see the difference. Contrary to popular belief, pure water does not conduct electricity. In order for water to conduct electricity, it must have an ionic compound dissolved in it. As you can see, gas bubbles are forming on the ends of the wire. This shows there must be something dissolved in the water for it to conduct electricity. Now rinse out your beaker with distilled water. First, put 50 more milliliters of distilled water into your beaker. Now add one teaspoon of baking soda. Give it a stir. Now stick the wires in it. Now we have lots of gas bubbles. This is because the water has an ionic compound dissolved in it, which allows the water to conduct electricity. This current breaks the bonds between the hydrogen and oxygen atoms in the water. Rinse out your beaker with distilled water again. This time add one teaspoon of sugar. Mix it in. Now stick the prongs in it. In this test with the sugar, no gas bubbles are forming on the end of the wire. This shows that sugar dissolved in water does not conduct electricity. This is because sugar is a covalent compound. Covalent and ionic compounds behave differently when they are dissolved in water. Ionic compounds disassociate into their individual ions. This is what allows water to conduct electricity. The sugar is a covalent compound which does not disassociate into ions. Hope that helped. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.